What's happening guys? Today we're going to calculate the future value and present value of cash flows with the BA2 Plus calculator. On the third row of the calculator, we find the buttons needed to complete the time value of money calculations. Let's say you put $100,000 in an account for three years. The interest rate you earn on this money is 5%. If interest is compounded annually, how much money will you have in the account at the end of three years? First, we'll indicate the total number of compounding periods we have for this problem. We have a three year time frame, and interest is compounded annually, so the number of compounding periods is three. We'll enter this by first pressing three, then n, which represents compounding periods in this calculator. The interest rate is 5%. We enter this in by pressing 5, then the IY button. Notice that we don't enter 5% as 0.05, like we would if we were doing this calculation manually. The time value of money function on this calculator calls for the interest rates to be entered in this way. Now, we'll need to enter the present value. It's important that we enter the present value as a negative number, especially when we're doing more complicated problems down the road. This is by convention for this and some other calculators that provide a time value of money function. A good way to think about this is to imagine the money leaving your hands and going into an account. It's a negative to you. This may help you visualize and remember why present value for problems of this sort need to be entered as a negative number. So we'll press 100,000 make it negative, then press PV for present value. There is no payment in this problem, so the payment is zero. Now we want to calculate the future value because we want to know how much money we'll have at the end of this three year period. So we'll press the CPT button for compute, then FV for future value. And here we have $115,762.50 as our future value. When we're done with one problem and ready to do another, it's important that we clear out the time value of money worksheet. We do this by pressing second, then pressing the button that says CLR TVM. So now, when we go back and look, we'll see that our time value of money worksheet is completely zeroed out. We can verify this by pressing RCL for recall and then each of the time value of money buttons to verify that each value is set to zero. Now let's assume that you expect to receive a cash flow in the amount of $100,000 two years from today. The current discount rate is 3% annually. What is the present value of this $100,000 payment? As we did in the first problem, we'll first enter the number of compounding periods. The compounding convention here is annual and the term is two years. So the number of compounding periods is two. We type two, then n. The interest rate is 3%. We enter three, then iy. The future value will be 100,000. Notice that the future value was entered as a positive number. We can think about this as a positive cash flow to us. There's no payment in this problem, so payment once again is zero. Now, we want to know what the present value is. So we press CPT for compute, then PV for present value. And here we see that the present value of a $100,000 cash flow two years from today, discounted to present with a discount rate of 3%, is $94,259.59. This value is represented as a negative number by convention. If you found this helpful and are interested in seeing more videos like this one, please like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.